Now, these days, if you want to buy the best saffron in the world, many experts would tell you to buy Iranian. It's the most expensive spice in the world. But there was a time when you'd have found it much closer to home. England was once the biggest exporter of saffron in the world. David Smale decided to revive the tradition, and now he has three sites in Essex. Dawn Gerber has been to meet him. Bringing back saffron to Saffron Warden. A passion of David Smales, this is one of three sites in Essex he's farming, around 150,000 bulbs. One day I was just walking around Saffron Walden and it occurred to me that I'd never seen a saffron crocus growing, despite the fact that the town's been called Saffron Walden because of the industry. So I did, did some digging around and the more I dug, the less I found out, to be honest. So I decided, well, someone needs to do it and I'll try and find some crocus bulbs, saffron bulbs, and start seeing what happens, really, yeah. Each flower has to be picked by hand and then processed. The three red stigmas are taken out before being dried. Farming saffron is very labour-intensive, and that's why it's so expensive. This amount of saffron weighs about a gram, and it retails at around £75 at top London stores. But you may be surprised to know that that's around two to three times the price of gold. Most of what we buy comes from overseas, Iran, Greece and Spain. But East Anglia is actually an ideal place to grow saffron. We have the right soil and weather. You need dry, hot, nice conditions, but people think it grows on places like Iran, where it's like in fertile soils and things like that. But I think the reason why the English saffron grows so well and gives a good taste is because it picks up the nutrients from the soil. Historically, saffron was a sign of wealth. For example, Henry VIII would dye his tights with it, Anne Boleyn used to dye her hair in it, Cleopatra used to bathe in saffron milk. It's, it was seen as a sign of wealth, you know, like a Rolls Royce is now. David started growing it about 12 years ago and business is doing well. His top customers include Fortnum and Mason and with demand to buy local growing, they're looking to expand further. Dawn Gerber, BBC Lequeste.